Well, hi, my name is Jeff Doctor, and I'm the Democratic nominee for state auditor. And I decided to jump into the auditor's race because um, A, I've had a desire to um, run for the legislature or, or public, run for a public office for quite some time. And when I was looking around at potential races, the auditor's race was extremely attractive to me. Uh, the reason for this is, it is the argument that I'm making with voters is it is a technology office. And by that I mean the auditor's office processes roughly $9 billion of payments during a biennium, and it's all done electronically. And so that fits with my background. And so 66% of the auditor's budget goes to maintaining the state's accounting and payroll system, and then 33% of the budget goes to the salaries of the folks who support the state's accounting system, the payroll system, and then they uh, do the comprehensive annual financial report. So it is a technology office, and that's where my background is. Um, I have um, 15 years. Uh, I've been, have 15 years of experience with the state of Wyoming. I have my master's in public administration, and I am a certified project manager. And during my time at the state, I have used technology to help improve um, outcomes for Wyoming citizens. An example of this is when I managed the Low Income Energy Assistance Program. When I started there, they had just implemented a new system, and it was taking 60 days to make a payment on behalf of a citizen uh, to a utility company to get their utility bill paid. And that is just not good government. That, take, that is an inefficient process. Um, under my direction, we took that process down to less than eight business hours. Uh, so that's something that I'm ex extremely proud of. Um, I mentioned my education, um, and part of why I'm running is I feel like I'm day one ready. Um, I don't feel, I think I know I'm day one ready. And by day one ready, I mean I am ready to tackle the issues that are facing the auditor's office. Wyoming currently, currently receives an F in transparency, according to several groups. Is that time? Yeah. <laughs> and I will work to move that F to an A. Thank you. Thank you. And Christy Racina? Good morning. Uh, my name is Christy Racinas. I'm your Republican nominee for state auditor. I'd like to thank the chamber and Holland and Hart and AARP for, for putting this on. And thank you all for coming out and working to educate yourselves on these state offices, which are incredibly important, but this tier is often forgotten or overlooked. So I'm running to be your next state auditor because I believe in a government that is efficient, effective, and accountable to the people. Um, a little bit about me, I was born and raised here in Wyoming, Casper, Evanston, but mostly Riverton. I'm an RHS grad. Uh, went down to UW and have an accounting degree from there. Uh, after school, I came to work for a public accounting here in firm here in Cheyenne. I did earn my CPA, which I keep active to date. I worked on all different sorts of audits, governments, small businesses, not-for-profits. Um, and what you really have to do as an auditor is become a subject matter expert on whatever you're looking at. So my current role, I'm also a state employee. I'm the CFO and Director of Human Resources for the state's judicial branch. In that role, I manage and prepare uh, approximately an $80 million budget, manage all the expenditures on the back end, and oversee the HR functions for about 340 employees. Uh, I've lived in Cheyenne for about 12 years. I have a husband and two small children. And really what I see for the auditor's office is it is the chief accountant of the state. It is often forgotten and it is a, it is a job that is not noticed until it is not done well. An entity, small or large, whether it be a lemonade stand or up to our entire state government, cannot operate, cannot move forward unless it has its fiscal house in order, providing accurate, timely, reliable information to our citizens, to our lawmakers, and just doing that job well is the role of the auditor. Under time, all right. <laughs> Timer <Ed> set. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am at Buchanan. Uh, I currently serve as uh, your 22nd Secretary of State. I was appointed by Governor Mead on March 1st of this year. Uh, many of you may know that I ran for the position in 2014, and my vision for the office really hasn't changed a lot since then, but primarily my goals were to keep Wyoming a business-friendly state, uh, to make uh, citizens more educated with regard to our rules and regulations, and finally, to be an ambassador for the state of Wyoming. What that really means is being a voice for all 23 counties uh, back here in Cheyenne when it comes to matters involving our public lands, uh, matters that involve
involve uh, cities, towns, and counties, infrastructure, things that come 